All right, we're gonna do a wedding today. We're gonna do a ceremony. It's kind of weird. They've already got a PA out here for the mic. All right, we're not gonna mic him up because my lapel mic is really getting a lot of wind. It's windy out, so they're gonna use that handheld from Liberty system. So much nicer my system looks like than theirs. Look at the cables on that thing. Ugh. So that's what we have. We have the Pioneer Rack with the laptop. That's a new X stand from Marathon that I'll do a video on probably this week. Real handy for a gig like this. And away we go. I'm taking cues from a woman way up there. These are a lot of work, just so you know. Remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, monkey for life. So it's over. The whole thing from start to finish was about an hour with all the processional. And let me tell you something with these. You have to charge for them because they're like a separate gig. It's a separate setup, a separate set of rules. There's a lot of pressure on you as a DJ not to screw anything up. There are a lot of cues to take. It's a lot of work. And if it's really important to the client that these things go flawlessly, they should pay for it. All right, we're inside. Here's the set Larry put up. He's doing a, a fine job. Thanks. Now, here's what's going on. We've got the X-Move Plus R's, which are rotating gobos. First time out with those. You're okay. Just, you're all right. Don't worry about it. We've got everything scrimmed up. We've got black scrim on those stands. We've got white double scrims on our speaker stands. We've got the Megapar profiles under the table and under the scrims. There's an atmospheric RG LED right down there. And uh, Larry seems to think that we're missing jellyfish. I haven't done a speaker scrim without jellyfish ever, ever. Never. So, and I didn't put them on this time, and Larry's looking at it like, you need no, them. no, we have to put jellyfish up. So, you need them. so Larry got them out of the truck. We'll be putting jellyfish on in just a moment. All right, we've eaten. We're going to get started here in just a little bit.
And it's over, and it was a good party. They were very happy. Larry's uh, loading in, loading out rather, loading out, loading into the truck. Uh, no complaints here. Good party. They were very happy, nice people. I'm very tired. The ceremony and the cocktail hour and the six hour gig really kind of kicked my butt. Played from four to midnight. Unfortunately, last weekend didn't go so well. That client. We're not that, I guess the, the mom of the bride is calling, wanting money back for that gig last week. And this is crazy. Check it out. First of all, come here, Larry. Yes. Come here. Come here. First of all, they, they said Larry was high. And you, you have to look at Larry to appreciate this. Come here. He looks Korean. He can't help it. I'm not Korean. I know, dude. but you look Korean, dude. You A little bit, but I'm not Korean. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Larry was high. And then um, the mom sent up her son to tell me to get the slideshow started right now. The bride and groom are outside. And... And, and I said, look, I gotta talk to the bride. The slideshow happened five minutes later than they wanted to, so they want money back. Now, if you guys out there think that I'm out of line on this and I should refund some money because I didn't take an order from the bride's brother, then let me know in the comment section because I don't think I'm insane, but you know, maybe I am. I had a stroke recently. Maybe there's something wrong with my brain. I think I'm okay though. And I think that they didn't do anything wrong. We fulfilled the contract. And I mean, what would you do? If somebody just came up to you and gave you orders, wouldn't you go to protocol who, you know, at a wedding reception, wouldn't that be bride and groom? I don't know, call me crazy. That's it, I'm not gonna worry about it because that kind of stuff will give you a stroke. Practice and enjoy.